Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Levi, and I really love superheroes. They're like one of my favorite things in pop culture, period. A while back, my friend Maya G from the Madness 22 answered a few questions about Marvel, DC, and comic books, so I decided to answer some of them myself. In an alternate universe, only Marvel or DC exist. Which one do you pick? This is a really tough one, but I'm gonna have to go with Marvel because they're the one who's more instrumental in making superhero media mainstream. Which character in comics is your all-time favorite? I feel like the only one that sticks out to me as like an immediate answer is Spider-Man. Which Marvel male superhero is your favorite? Again, Spider-Man is the most definite answer. Although Star Wars is pretty neat and kind of is into the second place. Which Marvel female superhero is your favorite? It's close to a tie, but Miss Marvel beats out Jean Grey. Which Marvel non-superhero is your favorite? I kind of had to rack my brain a little bit, but MJ's pretty neat, whether she's Mary Jane or Michelle Jones. Which DC male superhero is your favorite? The Flash is kind of like, like Spider-Man, he sticks out as an obvious first choice. I mean, any of them really. Barry, Wally, Jay. I don't think Bart's gotten a turn yet, but he's pretty cool. Which DC female superhero is your favorite? I'm going with either Starfire or Raven. I'm a big fan of the Teen Titans and they both have really cool abilities and personalities. Which DC non-superhero is your favorite? I'm going with Jimmy Olsen. He just wants to hang out with his buddy Superman and take some pictures. Which DC character is the most overrated? Now I'm gonna get a world of hate for this, but Batman. I think he's great, but he's kind of everywhere. He always takes the limelight. Like we don't need another Batman movie or show. The folks around him are great, but Batman can kind of step back for a while. Which character is the most underrated from DC? There are a lot of pretty obscure DC characters that I really like. But I'm voting Aquaman. Now, I know that he's like a founding and central member of the Justice League. But even then, to most people, he's still an underpowered punchline. He's king of the freaking ocean. Which character is the most overrated from Marvel? Now, there are a few that I could say are overrated. But Deadpool's kind of everywhere. I mean, he's great, but he works best as, like, an ensemble, as opposed to a solo character. Which character is the most underrated from Marvel? Moon Knight is really, really cool. He has a lot of themed gear and kind of the tech assassin stuff that Batman has, but he also has this really cool supernatural spin about him, which is really neat. Which Marvel human villain is your favorite? There are a lot of really decent ones, the Spider-Man Homecoming gave me a huge appreciation for the Vulture. Which Marvel non-human villain is your favorite? Galactus is probably, like, insanely cheesy, but also, like, pretty darn cool. Which DC human villain is your favorite? The Riddler is really interesting to me. He just has really interesting motivation. Like, he wants everyone to know that he's the smartest person out there. Which DC non-human villain is your favorite? Sinestro's just plain neat. Which Marvel movie is your favorite? X-Men First Class is insanely well-made, well-casted, and it's a great origin story for both X and Magneto. Which Marvel movie is best in terms of cinematography? Again, X-Men First Class is super well-made. Matthew Vaughn's an excellent director. The Winter Soldier is also fantastically shot. Which Marvel movie is best in terms of comics to movie adaptation? The original Spider-Man trilogy gives a really good feel for the coolness yet cheesiness of comics. And it's also a great way to introduce the world to Spider-Man. Which pre-MCU movie is your favorite? Spider-Man 2 just sticks out more so than even the first one. Which Marvel movie is your least favorite? Iron Man 2 is just kind of... meh. Even though it gave us Don Cheadle as Rhodey and Hammer is a really entertaining villain, it's just pretty forgettable. Which Marvel movie is the worst in terms of cinematography? Fantastic is just... It's bad. Which Marvel movie is the worst in terms of comics to movie adaptation? None of the Fantastic Four movies ever quite capture the feeling of the Fantastic Four, which is kind of a bummer. Which DC movie is your favorite? The anime movie Escape from Arkham is really, really good. Which DC movie is the best in terms of cinematography? Now, I know everyone hates it, but Batman and Robin is really well shot. Like, in terms of pure camera work, it's pretty good. Which DC movie is best in terms of comics to movie adaptation? Escape from Arkham, like I said, is fantastic. It gives you a really good feel of 
what the Suicide Squad actually is. And even though it's labeled a Batman movie, Batman's almost a B-plot, which I kind of like. Which DC movie is your least favorite? Man of Steel taught me that movies can be boring. Which DC movie is the worst in terms of cinematography? Suicide Squad was very not good. Like, it has several flaws on multiple levels. The ending in particular is just really lousy. Dan from Folding Ideas had an entire video on it. And if you want to see why the ending is so bad, or even why editing is so important in movies, I would definitely recommend it. Which DC movie is the worst in terms of comics and movie adaptation? May have Steel and Suicide Squad both fail to capture the real essence of their characters. What is your absolute favorite comic book movie? Now I'm kind of going outside the line here, but Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is one of my favorite movies, period. What is your least favorite comic book movie? May have Steel. At least Suicide Squad's entertaining. Which Robin is your favorite? Dick Grayson is definitely the best Robin. No one can convince me otherwise. Heck, last video I had a Nightwing shirt on. One Marvel character protects you from the world. Who would you like to do it? This was kind of a tough one to pick just a single one, but Silver Surfer is probably the most powerful without being, you know, evil or at least planet eating. One DC character protects you from the world. Who would you like to be? Again, it's hard to choose just one, but I think any Green Lantern will at least put up a good fight. And those are my answers to all 38 questions. If you enjoyed the video, press like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. Be sure to check out my friend Maddie's channel. Until then, have a lovely day. Subscribe button. It is? I mean, it's supposed to be. Why is it C? It's, it's like a little rectangle. No.